back on Cobblios. Uh, the past few times we've tried it was pretty, pretty quiet, but fish are starting to show face. We've got some nice Blu-rays the past few days, so smaller bronzies are starting to show. Um, got a nice little Cobby as well yesterday. Um, so we've come through today again. Uh, it looks really nice. Um, you can see Goose down the beach is there with some clients. Uh, they've been buckling for a while, so we are very keen to see what they what they've got there. I know they've got a few small bronzies already, but it looks like they're into something proper. Uh, we've picked a nice spot. Looks really, really good for a cobby or an edible here. So it's going to be our first cast, but there's nice deep holes and channels on the side where we'll fish for the blue rays, maybe the small bronzy. Uh, yeah, we're going to see. Hopefully we can get a couple of fish today. I think the plan is to get a couple, not just one. Want a couple of anything. Anything that bites, I'm happy with. Uh, just get a bit of practice in and have some fun. Yeah, let's see how the day goes. There's a few mullets here in front. We'll try and net some just now and then maybe we can get a leery or something a bit later today as well. Walking back, I felt the bite. So you pulled back there. There's like a little Blu-ray. Oh, the fish are close. I put this one just just behind the dumper because we're throwing a bit far on the banks and it's quiet. So just trying to see where the fish are. Well, hopefully we found them for the day. See the old goose. They've been on over an hour now. We're about an hour. Looks like a proper fish. Really keen to see what they got there. The mullets have been scarce, we can see them, but they, oh, it's one, one, this is quite difficult to net, we've got one big one, but too big, so we'll see if we get a chance to use them, we'll just turn back. But we've got a nice dropping tide until about lunchtime and then the push, and we think we're going to run out of water just now, so capitalize now while there's a bite, and then the tide starts pushing again if we get some nice fish. spot we're fishing let's see even if we try and net my legs or just walk out it's it does a lot of that I almost fell when i cast it earlier because it just fell into a hole but now the blue ray will sit in that hole you got to kind of pull it over, over each one so just have a little, little bit more patience but yeah like a fun Good species for the day. Nice size blue. Guys, look at these colors. Uh, in the back of <laughs> Our dog gets jealous that I'm not throwing the ball for her. She comes closer. She's done that when we've had a bronzy here before. You have to keep telling her to get back. Yeah, I can see why we call them blue rays. Absolutely beautiful fish. Nice size female. They get quite a bit bigger than this, but this is a, this is a nice size. Very fun size. Oh, we'll take it. So, target species, first fish for the morning. Uh, there's on a sardine with a little bit of the chocolate guts wrapped around it. And, like I mentioned, I decided to put that bait very close, just, just behind the lip. And I was walking back and the thing pulled, so that's always nice. Hopefully there's a couple of them around, hopefully we can get one or two of those really big ones. Um, and yeah, maybe one or two other species for the day would be nice. Yeah, I'm going to keep fishing this bank for an edible as well and just see. Yesterday I got a cob, Devet got a, a grunter, a nice grunter, so well, maybe there's a couple of fish around. Things are starting to happen. I'll show you the bait that I caught the, the Blu-ray on. It's a bait that I've been throwing here yeah, quite a lot lately. It's a very messy bait, I'm not trying to be too fancy or neat or anything like that. Um, sardine seems to be working very well. I've thrown a lot of mackerel and start working as well, so sardine's good and um, a bit of chalk on the side. So we've got a lovely 
not super fresh sardine. It's actually quite mushy and stuff, but it's, it seems to be working. Um, you got the heart that sits there, all the gills and the stomach. So that's going to form the base of the, of the bed. I just start cutting in before I've even got the hook ready. Just to sort of help form it a bit. I'm using a 6OJ hook now. The octopus circles from Fishman are very good. And I just lay the hook straight on top of that, the guts and the, all the good stuff. You'll see the hook will be quite flimsy. So I give it a lot of lines of cotton just around the hook to, to hold it tight. Grab this piece. And then I'm just gonna lay the as I said quite a messy bait. The sardine is a bit pop. Been to the beach up here a few times. That's pretty much that's pretty much it. All sorted. But now I've got the all the guts and the goo from the chocolate that I'm using, and I'm just going to lay it on just for a bit of extra extra smell. So it'll make it a very messy bed. This is one of the new models that will be coming out from Fishman. This is 